he got me portrayed like a B I T C H. Who's a rookie here? We got to deal with this bitch by you today. He getting treatment like this. I'm going to do next year this time, all right? All right? Yeah, okay. You're laughing at your own Barkley. You're laughing at Charles Barkley. I wanted to get Charles Barkley an apology at gunpoint. So he could never expect an apology from me. If anything, he owed me apology for coming to play with his sorry pet butt. You're laughing at Patrick, you win. Myers for Pippen. Whoa, oh, a faithful. Scotty Pippen in the face. And then you tell us that you didn't like it. He was a bad guy. He was a bad boss. What? No. Shit was all I knew. So here we go again, back with another one. Welcome to the Dark Times channel. And as most of you already know, Scottie Pippen, Horace Grant, and of course Luke Longley of the Chicago Bulls have been making their way around and doing this little tell-all tour. And so I'm mm -hmm. interested to, to hear what's going to come out of his mouth. Is it going to be similar to what he shared with me? Because that's what I'm interested in see. And so that's why I like, and I was like, I like, you know, but once, you know, last dance kind of went away, you know, we kind of moved on and like, okay, let's just let it go, blah, blah, blah. But I'm I'm, I'm gonna listen to what they got to say because look, I thought he and Scotty were closer and then come to find out, they're not close at all. Not close, I mean, that was like close. They, they far apart like, like Sydney and San Francisco. They, that's how yeah. they far apart they are, Gil. And so, of course, Scottie Pippen is the main attraction. He's the headliner in this No Bull Tour. And that's what they're calling it, the No Bull Tour. And people can say what they want about Scottie Pippen, because I know he's been the butt of a lot of jokes, especially over the past, I don't know, five or six years now, when you consider his ex, Larsa Pippen, literally getting clapped up by somebody new every year. Larsa and Marcus, what is Larsa's favorite position in bed? Three, two, one. <laughs> Doggy style. <laughs> and so Scottie Pippen has endured a lot, I would say, over the past five or six years or so. But that still doesn't take away from his greatness because Scottie Pippen is probably one of the most underrated superstars. And that's mainly because he played with the greatest basketball player in sports history. And even if you don't believe that Michael Jordan is the best to ever do it, there's no question that he's the most iconic basketball player to ever do it. You know what Michael Jordan is? Everybody understanding now, especially everybody on Nightcap and Club Shape J. Michael Jordan is to basketball what Cat Williams did on your channel. Yes. Right? He did it in a style, clever, charisma, funny, gave you the drama. He gave you such a big overall package that the field, they can't keep up. They are not gonna keep up because one, him, who he is, how he moves is a whole different yes. entity. So when you come on here, you can give us the drama, but are you gonna give us the charisma? Are you gonna be clever? Are you, and that's who the Michael Jordan was to the world, how Cat is. So no matter who you got, that everybody, we're gonna be judging it off the same yeah. one man. And that's, and that's why I say sometimes there comes a force in yeah, this world like that hasn't been seen before that does something that just says, oh, what is this? And so I thought that was the perfect analogy considering the platform that Gilbert Arenas was on. Compared Cat Williams to Michael Jordan, I thought that was a great analogy. Because like Cat Williams, you know, Michael Jordan was gonna give you something that you've never seen. And not only was he gonna bring you something that you've never seen, he was gonna do it with charisma. He was gonna do it with style. What do you guys all do? <laughs> I love the show. I, I mean, I really enjoy your showmanship and your style. And some of y'all old enough to remember this, when Michael Jordan played, it was must-see TV. 
If you didn't see about it, you heard about it the next day. Whether he was shooting free throws with his eyes closed or jumping from the free throw line, kicking his legs, contorting his body in a way that you've never seen before. You had guys that could jump from the free throw line back then, but they didn't do it like Mike. You had guys that can win Miller basketball back in the day, but they didn't do it like Mike. There was a certain style and there was a certain flavor that he brought to the game. Because Michael Jordan knew at the end of the day it was about entertainment. It wasn't just about putting up stats and putting up numbers, but it was about doing it with a flair and doing it with a flash and putting his own charisma on his game. And then on top of that, Michael Jordan understood the other side of the game. He knew where the cameras were. He knew where the mics were, mainly because him and David Stern helped put them there. David Stern was probably one of the most revolutionary sports icons in history. He revolutionized what it meant to be sports entertainment. And he even said as much, he was about building stars. It wasn't just about the game of basketball, but it was about building and marketing stars. And that's something that Scottie Pippen couldn't understand. That's something that he didn't understand. It wasn't just about the game. Because in Scottie Pippen's eyes, he feels like he should be on that Michael Jordan level. The talent was there. You're talking about probably one of the most complete players in all of sports. There's literally nothing that Scotty couldn't do. You're talking about one of the greatest defenders of all time. Was a great shooter for his time. Was athletic as anybody that's ever played. He literally had no weakness. And then on top of that, he helped Michael Jordan to win six championships. And so in Scotty's eyes, he feels like he should be on the same level as Michael Jordan. But he never understood the real game, which is off the court. I remember when Scottie Pippen was on the Rockets and he wanted to be traded. And everybody of that magnitude, you know, it comes a time in their career. Maybe they're not in the perfect situation and they won out. No big deal. But in Scottie's case, it was how he wanted out and what he did to get out. Scotty gets his wish. He's very unselfish guy. He doesn't show me the desire to want me. I probably should have listened to Michael a year ago when he said that Charles never will win a championship because he doesn't show any dedication. Scotty Pippen name dropped Michael Jordan and put his name out when it didn't need to be out. And I would probably say this right here was probably the beginning of the end as far as the relationship with Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. You don't bite the hand that feeds you. And although Michael Jordan had been retired, he was still feeding the league. And so Michael Jordan had to publicly backtrack everything Scotty said. He had to reach out to Charles Barkley and deny it. He had to publicly make a statement when he didn't have to. And even if what Scotty said was true, that's not something that you put out there. That's a you know what move. Grown men don't move like that especially when you're in that million and billion dollar club. You don't move like that. What you say amongst men, especially somebody that you bled with, you expect that to stay between you and him. But this is the part of the game, like I said, that Scotty never understood. Scotty Pippen always moved like somebody that was bitter. Somebody that was bitter because he didn't get all the attention that Michael Jordan did. You know, it's a lot easier for these players to get recognized these days there's so many different platforms and outlets for the six man on the team to even get attention the six man on any nba team can go on instagram and have a million followers now it wasn't like that back in the day back in the day it was michael jordan and everybody else and scotty pippen just had to take that there was mainstream media and that's it it was 24 hours michael jordan all the time and that's something that scotty pippen really never got over and it's unfortunate because scotty pippen did deserve better like I said, you're talking about a player that literally had no weakness. He could have been considered one of the goats in his own right if he knew how to play the game, at least off the court. And that's something that he should understand. And a lot of people probably feel like he should just be grateful for the experience that he did have. Not everybody's able to win six championships. Not everybody's able to be one of the 50 greatest players to ever do it. And so in my opinion, and a lot of other people's opinion, he's coming off like he's salty like a bitter ex that wants half in the divorce, but she can't get it. And if she can't get it, she's gonna do a tell-all book and drag everybody down with her. But I am curious to see what everybody has to say. I'm sure there's gonna be a few tidbits that you know wasn't on the last dance. And so in that regards, it's gonna be interesting to see what comes out of this, but feel free to go ahead and chime in in the comment section below. Let me know how y'all feel about it. And as usual, peace and chaos.